Welcome back to the channel. So we are back in <laughs> New York, which happy to be home, not gonna lie. It's been nice, but now I'm just like, where are we going now? <laughs> That's just how vacations are for me. Anyway, I'm always like on to the next place, next thing. I'm gonna show you guys what I bought from Mexico really quick. And I really just kind of shopped for myself because I noticed that with my family, it's like, if I offer to get them something, well, that's my mom, they never know what they want. And it's like, I'm not gonna do the whole, do you want this, do you want this, do you want this thing. So I did get one thing for Jasmine because Jasmine is the easiest person to shop for. She either wants a keychain, which I'm like, I'm not buying you any more keychains, or like a shot glass, which I got her. So I'm gonna start with her stuff. I got her this shot glass that says Los Cabos on it. It's cute, it's shaped like a boot. It's like a shot glass. Very cute. I believe that this is real leather, I think. This smells like real leather, but I don't know if it is. But yeah, got her this in like a nice pink color. And we're gonna move on to the stuff that I bought for myself. Like I've just been really, as you guys already know, into like home decor and things like that. And for this trip, it was kind of no different. Like. I really went for stuff that I could have use of in my space. So I'm going to start with this. I bought this. It's very heavy. But I bought this soap dish. It is stunning. I don't know if that's coming up on camera about how beautiful it is. It says Cabo San Lucas in it. it. Has like a beautiful like scoop for the soap. And this is real stone. I was kind of a little bit like scared because I was slightly a little bit overweight on my suitcase but I wasn't like 100% sure if I had like hit yet. So I was like, ah, do I want to bring this back with me or not? But it all worked out. I'm happy I got it. You have to kind of play around with the color of your bathroom and stuff. But regardless, so happy I bought this. Just great quality. He had a lot of other things that were made out of like real marble and like stuff like that. When you go to like these artisan shops, you can get really nice pieces and really nice things. I got two other things these this one is a set i'm just gonna open it because she packaged it so nicely um so far nothing broke got these shot glasses and they're so cool i love the well, i don't know if this is like beading but they're on the bottom here there's like texture and then i think it's just paint on the top and they're clear kind of like blown glass i got four of those so i wanted to have a set because i, I have fours of everything that i buy for the house mugs just regular cups, wine glasses. I always get things in fours. I think these will look so pretty. Like this one has like a like a shell or like a stone and like crested in it. So it has like a little bit of a dent. And they're all the similar patterning, but just different in their own ways in terms of like the parts that are like you can physically raise parts that are like super different. So loved it. They had so many different heights and stuff. So I was like at the store just like trying to like perfectly measure because the OCD in me was like, oh, I need to make sure that I don't have one that's like excessively bigger than the other one. I think they're gonna look so nice in any type of cabinet and stuff. Like they're just fun. The last thing I got was these salt and pepper shakers, which are so nice. It says Cabo San Lucas on the holder, but they have three holes at the top and they're made from this really, this is so heavy. <laughs> Woo! They're made from this really nice stone. I'm gonna just move that in so you can kind of see that. It's like this nice stone. It's very rustic feel to me. Between this one and like a marbleish one, but I felt like this was more me. And yeah, I usually hate to buy pieces before kind of knowing what my place or my space is gonna look like because then I have to kind of decorate based off of pieces I bought or pre-bought, but this one is so nice and i really really loved it that's all that i got from cabo like as souvenirs so what i'm gonna do now is just wrap these all not back up i need to figure out a place to put them because i am gonna start sorting through some house stuff um really soon and i actually am gonna start my finding an apartment series very soon as well
good morning and welcome back to a new vlog workers are working downstairs as you can see i made some oatmeal for breakfast today super yum i have a couple things i need to do today it is an editing day so i'm literally spending the entire day editing hence my comfy clothing set and my pull me slides i'm just gonna sit and like move around the house different spots in the house <laughs> Once I get bored with one spot, I feel like I'm falling asleep or something. I change to another spot and just keep doing that from downstairs to upstairs until I'm done editing the whole video. I really, the processing time for my videos, it takes about two or three hours to process from my editing software. Oh, sorry. From my editing software and then it takes about another or two to three hours to process to YouTube. Then I do my thumbnail, which takes me a couple minutes. Um, it could take me longer depending on if I need to source pictures. Then, after all of that, um, I have to come up with like a title, which I actually try and think about, and uh, link anything below that I promise I'd link below, which takes time too. Then the next day I do subtitles if I decide to do subtitles. I'll on the subtitles for a little bit, I promise that was fireworks. I promise. But then again, Brooklyn, you never know. So... Let's go at it, and hopefully tomorrow will be a little bit more successful. So really quick, we're off. The shirt is cast, it's a men's shirt. The jeans, you guys already know, comment below if you know the names of these. I wear them pretty much every time. Very simple, it's 82 degrees today. I think that's maybe like 24, 25 Celsius. I don't know, I'm not really good at it anymore. I was better at it when I was going to Europe frequently. I love the men's shirts at Cos. I would highly recommend. They're 100% cotton. They feel really great. They're breathable. Summertime like this, they're a bomb ass thing to wear. Even though it's 82, I don't know if I should. I don't know if I should wear a little jean jacket with it. I don't like that these are two different colors, but I also feel like this is not like it's breezy out. So I'm like, is that, is this enough? I don't know where my Levi's one is. Not really feeling how this looks together. I think I'm just gonna risk it and go like this and call it a day. So I will see you guys on the way there. And we're gonna be very early. So I might stop and have a quick lunch or get a quick matcha or something like that. Wasn't it for me?
douchebag. I get so nervous with steps. <laughs> I cannot find this freaking like Mexicana place for nothing. This plantas. Whatever, they said it was over here. I think Google Maps is acting a little weird with things as well because of the pandemic. Some things are closed, some things temporarily open, temporarily closed. So I can't find this place to save my life. I see a sweet green, but I just really wanted some like really good food and I purposely came this route to get this. Like this is nowhere near my house, nowhere near my route to go home. I just don't know where this could be, like. My shoelaces aren't tied, but anyway, it's telling me it's in one minute. 187 feet. Something is telling me that it might be in this Whole Foods. Hmm. Very interesting. I'm so stupid, it literally says it right there. <laughs> so many delicious choices. tacos before you guys have seen that it was so good but it's very very filling and I feel like I sometimes almost waste it because I don't eat as much okay, I'm gonna try the quesadilla and I also got me a ginger lemon made I know there's probably a lot of sugar in here but uh, the good thing is that they sweeten it with agave which is still not like the best sugar let's try this <laughs> There's alcohol in it. I thought this was a normal like ginger lemonade. I'm a little confused. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to get drunk, but cheers. Deco. I don't even know what this is called, but it's a two-piece set. Like I got the other part. This is like the hoodie part. And my sister and my best friend and my mom and my grandma, everybody clowned me for this set, okay? They thought I look absolutely insane. I also need to start packing for trip number two. Yeah. Let me show you what we're working with right now. Disgusting, 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 disgusting. Okay, so let's see if this works. <laughs> I've never done this like snappy thing, but we're gonna try it. So, before, after. Just got out of the shower and the Zara package came. I ordered two bags from Zara and I already kind of saw one of them because my sister ordered it too and uh, she went to pick her order up. I had it delivered to the house. So I already know I'm not keeping that bag but I'm gonna show it to you guys anyway because it's cute but I just don't think it's worth the price. I hate to look bougie but 
this is also kind of the reason why I stick to designer things like designer bags, designer shirts, because I just feel like you buy it once, you don't gotta buy it again. Zara stuff, this fast fashion stuff, it's like I can't validate the price for these items. So this is the first one. I like the style of it. It's this rope bag. I think it's very cute. But it's basically like a a wallet on a bag type of thing. Like I like the concept of it. It'd be cute for pictures or whatever. But I don't buy things for pictures. Like I buy things because I want to wear it. There's absolutely no space in this bag. It's like I just don't know who I I don't even know what I could fit in this bag. It's so narrow. It's like for a kid. I don't know we are doing this to ourselves as a society because we like made the Jacques Mousse small bambino bag such a like or the Lechiquito bag such a a hype that companies now think they can sell us things we can't even put anything in and we buy it because obviously my dumb ass bought it my sleeve is pretty normal and you can't even I mean you have to really squeeze it up there to get a like sleeve sleeve and don't get me wrong it is a cute bag like obviously i bought it so i thought it was something to pay my money for it i love the concept and it is cute but not for the amount of money that i paid for it not for the amount of money that i paid for it like no yeah so this retails are 49.90 it's 50 bucks 50 bucks for this not me no ma'am she will be going right back to send her. I bought a green chain bag as well. Now this, realistic. This is it, and very heavy because of these chains. Oh, these are so nice. Look at those gold chains. This one is small. I do know they have the bigger one. I didn't like how the bigger one looked. I didn't like the bigger square. I liked the small one, but there's enough space in there to actually like, hello, like a real bag where my phone is in there and there's still space to put other things. On a night out, I don't even put my phone in there. I always have my phone in my hand. But even with the strap, you can comfortably, and the keyword really is comfortably, put that on. And it's just a vibe. The chain is thick. So this one stays because this is so freaking cute. And the crazy thing about this bag is that it was cheaper than that bag. And I think it's more quality, like thick chains. Look at the sizing difference. I mean, come on, really put a lot of chunk into this chain and I'm here for it. I wish there was like a cute little pocket or something in the back, but it's fast fashion. We can't get it all. You know what I mean? Glass closure is nice. The material feels very lush. And Lux there is a pocket on the inside thankfully so we do get a pocket in here which is nice put your keys and stuff in but the fact that this one is cheaper than that one is crazy to me that's how you know people are just losing their minds so yeah that was the mini unboxing I'm actually gonna end the video here as well because I'm headed to bed now Thank you guys for hanging out. Woo, sorry. Thank you guys for hanging out with me for this vlog. I will see you guys in the next one. It is another prep week because we are headed back out again. But for the summer, this trip is it. So yeah, see you for prep week. Bye.